Good Lord. Um, you know, we probably shouldn't tell you this. We so we borrowed uh, two pallets of rock salt from Home Depot um, and returned it the very next day. But we had to load all of them into four different vehicles, and we, it was very. It was actually sort of a logistical nightmare because we didn't want to be loading too many, uh, having to load and unload for testing. So I think we tested three of the trucks because it was all in the back. The, the beautiful thing was that all we had to do was go to Home Depot, pick up the salt from, uh, and have them loaded on pallets. And they loaded that first time in the, I think it was the dually we used. And it was at, in, that was maximum payload for the dually. We go back, we test that, and then we test all the other trucks empty. And then we unload, we proceed to unload out of this truck into the other ones. And then we test them again. So I don't know how many times we loaded and loaded, but the, the big problem was getting everything back into this truck at the end of the day. Because I mean, it's, it's, it's actually, if you think about it, if you don't have the facilities that you know, the, the RAM guys have at their disposal at a test facility where they have you know, these weighted sleds and things, how do you test payload is a huge problem. It's like, do we use manure? Do we use gravel? Do we use a, you know, a skip loader? The easiest thing actually was you know, six, eight people loading 40-pound bags by hand. <laughs>